this video we're going to create code in Excel VBA that allows us to run different subroutines directly from a drop down selection menu on our spreadsheet. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. In cell E4 of the spreadsheet I have titles here that are actually linked to different subroutines that perform different tasks with VBA code. So this first one here will create a new employee timesheet and do all the formatting for it like borders and fill and all of that good stuff. So when I click run, it's going to create that new timesheet and format it in a new workbook. If I select this second option here, it's going to do a similar thing except it's an expense report. So it's going to create and format a new expense report. this last option here will open an existing file called orders. So the first thing we want to do is create our drop down menu selections. So I'm going to click in this cell here, go up to data and then data validation. I'm going to select the option for list in this source box. I'm going to give it descriptions. So the first one is going to be create timesheet. Now these are separated by comma and one very important thing here make sure you don't add spaces between each value and the comma because it'll make a difference in how VBA sees that text. If you add a space after it before the comma VBA is going to think you meant for that description to have a space so be careful there. The next one is going to be called create expense report and finally open orders file. Click OK and we have our selections. So now what we need to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by clicking on the developer ribbon and going up to the visual basic button or hitting Alt F11. Now I already have these three subroutines. You can see I have one for create timesheet which adds a new workbook and then adds all the values and does all the formatting. Similar thing for this create expense report. Adds a new workbook, adds the values and then formats the sheet. And then I have my third subroutine for open the orders file, which I have a path variable, and I'm just simply opening that path. So what we want for our final macro, or subroutine I should say, is a subroutine that simply calls the other three based on whatever selected in that cell on our spreadsheet. So we'll call this subroutine call other subs. And we'll begin by declaring a variable for our workbook that we're in now. So that's going to be as the data type workbook and then the worksheet we're on, which is going to be as the data type worksheet. set our workbook that's going to be equal to this workbook the workbook we're in now I'm going to set our worksheet variable equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets and the name of our sheet is called call code So we're going to add a select case statement here. So the first part of that is the thing we want to evaluate. So we want to evaluate worksheet and then our cell containing our drop down list values. So that's going to be range and that was on E4. 
and then we have our case one. So if create timesheet is selected here, if that value is create timesheet, then we add a colon and after the colon is what we want to do. And what we want to do is simply call this create timesheet subroutine. So I'm going to copy the name of that subroutine and paste it here and that should be that. And we're going to do a similar thing for these other two. So we have create expense report. So if the value is that, then we want to run our create expense report subroutine. And finally, if the dropdown selection is open orders file, let me just make sure that is what I had in this drop down. So we have create timesheet, create expense report, and open orders file. So if it is an open orders file, we want to run this open orders file subroutine. done so we can end our select statement so we're going to go back to our sheet and what we're going to do is under the developer ribbon we're going to go to insert and draw in a macro button there is our subroutine called call other subs so I'm going to link that to the button and then I'm gonna right click and edit the text and change this to run above sub so we'll select create timesheet run it opens the timesheet creates it I should say <laughs> creates a new timesheet in a new workbook create expense report this is going to create an expense report and open the orders file is going to go find that file on the path and open it well that is all for now thanks for watching till next time